Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Thursday. This should be the easiest of the five days, I think. This fourth paragraph of the essay, third paragraph of the body. You've already done it twice, so you just need to follow that same formula. Get some kind of transition. Introduce what you're talking about. Explain the intelligence, how it relates to you. Should be uh, like clockwork now, right? So let's take a look at mine. Oh, a couple things, though. Hey, pronoun I, refer to yourself, always capitalize that thing, all right? And then um, English, always, always capitalized. Doesn't matter if you're talking about the country, England, or you're talking about the language, or you're talking about a bulldog, it's always capitalized, English, okay? One more thing, um, double spacing. Let's take a look at mine. Um, there, <clears throat> on the board, I have double spaced, okay? But I mean, I'm not too concerned. A lot of people are doing it single spaced and they're doing it correctly. And then, you know, they're asking like, how do I double space? So let's just talk about that really quickly because you'll do, you will separate your paragraphs differently if you single space or double space. All right, so most of you, if you're single spacing, it's gonna be single spaced. So one line after the other, when you get to another paragraph, just skip a line. Don't worry about indenting. And just in case you don't know what indenting is, that paragraph on the screen right now is indented. That first line goes in a little bit. You just hit that tab button and it will indent it for you. All right, so if you're double spacing indent at the beginning of every paragraph, if you're single spacing, no need to indent, just skip a line after each paragraph, okay? If you need any help with that, let me know. But I'm not a big, like, as long as it's like Times New Roman 12, I can read it. If it's single space, you know, properly or double space properly, I don't really care. But it's things are changing. Like, just like um, when I was younger, at the end of every sentence, you would hit the space bar twice to go to the next sentence. That's changed in like the last decade. So like I said in an earlier uh, video, some of the rules that were like very rigid, that was one of our words, uh, are coming are becoming more relaxed. So, all right, let's go for this one here. Indented right there. Um, this is another rough draft. It's not perfect. I think it's all right, um, but I would like to go back over a couple things. I've left in a couple mistakes to show you. I mean, not mistakes, but things I – It'll be fine without it, but uh, without making the change, but I think it'll be better if I do change it. So I'll show you how to do that. One intelligence I wish I was better at is the naturalistic intelligence. If a person excels with this one, they're able to survive in nature rather easily. They're able to grow plants without killing them. All right. So this is the thing here. Like I start off, or at least I have two phrases really close together. They are able, they are able. So I could just, I probably without repeating that, I could just go in, they can, maybe I can come up with a better verb later, but they can grow. So I need to take, that's called an infinitive by the way, to grow. Oh, look at that, it's doing it for me. So we'll just change it to, they can grow plants without killing them. They might be able to identify edible berries in the wild. I have a feeling if I were dropped in a remote part of the world and forced to survive, I'd be dead in a day. So I really like that. I mean, would I really be dead in a day? No, it's probably hyperbole, but it's also um, alliteration because I got the two D sounds there. I just liked ending the sentence with that kind of rhythm, dead in a day. I don't know. You know, I like it. Try to spice it up when you can, when you're writing uh, this <clears throat> This uh, type of writing with the, the essay, the nonfiction can be a little bit boring, I think, because you're just like presenting facts and stuff. And but uh, if you can spice it up a little bit with a little bit of creativity, I think it's a good day. And um, I was mentioning to some classes like this does this straddles the line between narrative and informational. So this is kind of like a hybrid essay. I didn't want to go total informational yet. Personally, I like I like fiction writing a little better. So not that this is fiction, but remember when it's your narrative, 
as we talked about in the last essay, you can embellish a little bit. The reader will never know unless you make it just outlandish and crazy. All right, almost done here. Uh, the likelihood of, okay. Dead in a day. Of course. Hey, I see a lot of people doing this, by the way. When you start off uh, a phrase that doesn't include your subject, you are putting the comma before the subject, which is pretty sweet. Of course, the likelihood of me having to fend for myself in the wild is pretty remote. But if there is ever a terrorist attack or a massive solar wind knocks out the Internet, I would like to know how to survive in order to keep my family and me safe. I, it's good, I think. Not bad. Rough draft. Always could be some work done to that thing. And it is my family and me. When you use like I, it's the subject of the sentence. It comes like towards the beginning of the sentence, you use I. If it comes towards the end of the sentence, you're going to use me. All right. And you always put the other person first. My friend and I, my family and me. I don't know, just a couple, just a couple grammar things sprinkled in there because we don't do a whole lot with grammar. All right. <clears throat> Probably a snow day tomorrow. Right. So why don't we do about a half an hour of the movie today? I think that would be a good way to end class. If we're not here on Friday, we'll do the conclusion on Tuesday. I'm sorry, Monday. And then uh, we'll get some revisions on Tuesday and by Wednesday. Who knows what's going on? Maybe there'll be a movie plan or something. Right. End of the year. 2022 is almost out of here.